What's going on guys? It's your boy Cam the Great back again with another video. And today, before you start the video, click the bell down below so it can let y'all know whenever I upload or post. So yeah, on to the video. I know you guys been wondering where have I been. Probably not, but anyways, I've got two words for you. At school. I've just been at school trying to figure out what I gotta do with my life. Yeah. The typical teen stuff. But yeah. These type of videos that I'm finna introduce to y'all. It's finna be a weekly video. You're gonna see every week. And we're gonna be talking about different topics. And in general. Just my opinion about it. You're like an unpopular opinion on the serious topic. Every day. So we're gonna call this. What should we call this? Let's talk about blank. So in today's video, let's talk about toxic masculinity. Yep, I said it. I know this is going to stir up some feathers because some people going to look at me a, a, a different type of way just because of an opinion I got. Anyways, I don't care. So let's dive into the video. So let me go ahead and jump into base. Toxic masculinity to me, masculine. Oh my God! Toxic masculinity to me is when men ourselves we promote stuff that is not good. It's just toxic to the point where it's just too much to deal with. And as a young child, you shouldn't be pressured into doing anything that you don't want to do and if you don't feel like it's time for you you shouldn't do it that's a, just a universal thing like boys girls you know anybody but as a a boy we are looked upon as i say um i i think we look be looked upon as we supposed to be do everything first have to be the first one to do it you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm just going to say it's like losing their virginity. Like when dudes lose, like it's okay for a dude who's 12, 13, 14, 15 years old to lose their virginity at that age. But when a grown man say he, he want to wait till marriage, it's a problem. And I feel like you should, first of all, it's none of your business. Second of all, when you don't God has timing for everybody you don't typically get to choose whenever they get to experience what they're gonna experience you just don't do that and I feel like as a as a boy we are double stand we we hold double standards a boy should do this not a girl and getting on to it I feel like as black men, like as a black young man, we are looked upon as role models, but we're promoting in a different way. Like some dudes, they are very open. And I'm not saying ain't nothing wrong with being open about what you do. Hey, you did it, own it. That's, that's, that's universal. Like if you did it, own it. You already did it, so own it. But it comes to the point where you brag about certain stuff that you shouldn't brag about. And this is what happens when this is what happens when dudes talk too much and they get in their mind like, yeah, I done did some. Then they end up going to jail because they break the little girl. Not saying, not no this not not saying that they they said that, but I'm just using for example. But to be honest. I'm going to go into another detail. We sometimes look at other things and we are unaware of it. And we are, we say that, oh, that's not dude. That you can't be a dude and do that. Like, say if a dude wants to go out here and join the cheer team. Or want to do, I don't know, do, do something that girls usually typically do and they say oh man there's a punk you a punk 
just because you do this, that, and the third. First of all, let me tell you this. How can you judge somebody off the of things that they do? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how, how to that process because at a young age, you should be experiencing anything. You're supposed to be multi-dimensional. You're supposed to try something new. And I mean, if you, hey, if, if, hey, say if I want to join a tent team, that ain't none of your business. Mind your business. It's just a simple little thing. When people, if the world would mind their business, there won't be no war. There wouldn't be no, no fighting, no crime, no nothing. Because we mind our business. We just go about our day and just mind our business. But we don't tend to our business. We, we have an, we have an opinion on everything that is, on this earth dude some and I, I see why dudes sometimes are afraid to do stuff because they don't have the freedom to because they friends gonna go back and say some stuff about them it just it just the way life is and I hate that the li that life is like this but it just is what it is we need to stop that we need to stop down in each other and say, oh, you a punk or you you ain't no dude. You not man enough. What? Hold up. Let me ask y'all a question. What is man enough? How can you be man enough? Like, listen to me. Like, listen to me clearly. I know y'all listen to me. How can you be man enough when you can't even be a man yourself? And these come for men that don't even look after their children and claim they are man. These are men that beats on women and claim they are man. These are men that constantly down play men being missed all the freaking time but claim they're real men. It just, it just, it's, it's like men are trying to Like, like they are trying to control, not control us, but like they're not directing us to in in the way life should go. Like, it's okay for dudes to do certain stuff, same as girls. I mean, like if a dude want to cook, he can. If a dude want to clean, he can. It's just the way. And I hate to say this is the way that the world has been ever since day one. Women are supposed to look after the men. Let me look after the children. Feed the men. Clean. Do that. It's just a, that's a universal thing. But men are supposed to be the providers. Supposed to go out here and do everything we got to do. But times are different these days. We can't just simply say, oh, this is a dude's job. So this is a woman's job. Everybody can do it. What what does gender has to do with anything? And I hate to say this, black people, main one, black people are the main people from this. We tell our kids, tell our little kids, I've seen this most times happen to me. I'm not gonna lie. We they tell us to man up, stop crying, stop doing that. We are all human. We have our feelings. We have we have certain ways that we don't nobody understand us. We. Only you can be yourself. You, you can't look at nobody else's eyes and be yourself. You only see out these eyes. You see what I'm saying, right? But to be honest, we tell our kids to man up or to don't be a wimp and do all this stuff. That needs to stop. Because some kids, I won't say are sensitive, but they're, they, have, they develop different. And like me, I develop way different. Oh, oh, when I was a little kid, I ain't gonna care with you. I used to cry a lot when I was a little kid. But I never I never got into a fight because I knew if I ever would get in a fight, I would hurt somebody. It just point back. I'm untouchable. You see what I'm saying? But really what I'm trying to say is that some kids mature mature like, but you know what i'm saying like mature a little bit faster or slower than some kids and i mean like as a child i mature way faster because i have a i believe i have an old soul and like i know some stuff at a like it clicked with me 
because I knew to respect the woman, to always hold her door, always, basically, what they, what they, what that stuff called? Uh, we just courtesy, or courtesy or something. Like, being polite is, yeah, chivalry. There you go, chivalry. Like, I knew chivalry at a young age, so I guess my, my brain said, you know, go ahead and knew all this, know all this stuff at a young age so I can be prepared for my life. And so I believe God chose that right time for me, but sometimes God may have chose another time for another child. Like, don't rush something. Like, it's okay. Let them be a child. Then, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, let children be children. You're making your child worse. You're making them be a bad person. You see why all these kids grow up to be abusers, hit on women, they, they, they do all this stuff, and you, you you making them do it. And you and I hate to say this, but some men just become their relative, up and down. No matter it's alcoholic, smoker, anything, or abuser, it's, it's anything. You can become whoever in your family. It's, it's more than time, probably five out, six out of ten destined that you would be like somebody in your family, but you can always change that at any time of your life. But anyways, I know this video is going to be way too long because if I, I'd be here talking all day, but... I'm just wrap this up by saying this. We are living in a time where it's okay to do whatever you feel. Do whatever you feel like. If you feel like you're comfortable in your own body, you do it. Don't let nobody other opinions stop you from doing whatever you do. And that's for anybody. Dude, girls, anybody. If you love something, don't let people try to destroy you, not even your family members. Because I promise you, your family members are going to be the main one coming up to you, wanting what you have, but you can't give it to them because they didn't ever support you. I hate to say this, but if you, like, just for example, if your mom and dad never treated you like you should be, and you get to certain, as a certain amount of state, you just have to, it's not being rude and disrespectful to not pay them back, but I mean, like, you never supported me. What can I give you when you never supported me? That's, that's what I'm in on. Always, you reap what you sow, and what, what goes around comes around. That's, that's a, a universal thing. It always comes back around, so. I'm done. I'm going to make this into a part two. Maybe I ain't going to probably do it right now, but I'm probably wait like a couple weeks to make a part two because I got some in-depth stuff where I'm going to I'm gonna have to research and do all the other stuff. So I'm through. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I guess that's it. Also, the schedule will be down in the description and y'all get to know what time I post my video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later. Bye guys.